everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be playing some more Flyout. Yes, I know you guys love this game, but I'm not actually going to be building anything today because we're going to be checking out three awesome creations built by community members on the official Flyout Discord. Let's get into it. Okay, here we are in the uh, blueprints mode where we get to build and load in our aircrafts. We do have some cool aircrafts to look at today. And the first one we're going to look at is probably one of my favorite aircrafts of all time. The F-14B Tomcat. I love the F-14. It is so cool. This one was made by Lambo Guy 10 And I've got to say, guys, once we load this in, here, check this out. It's going to take a little bit to load. It's actually taking a lot to load. There we go. <laughs> This is probably one of the most insane detailed aircrafts I have seen on this game. Look at this thing. It is so cool. Like, even the textures and everything they've got going on here. An interior, like, two seats. There is so much to have a look at here, and I just want to go ahead and test this thing. I mean, we can stare at it all day, but let's get it in the air. Okay, here we go. We're loading into the world. And here she is, the F-14 Tomcat. I can't believe how pretty this thing is. Like, I've got the brakes. Those are the air brakes working. We've got flap controls. Look at that. Obviously, the F-14 is famous for its uh, ability to do this. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so excited to get into the air. But before we do, I do want to have a look at the interior. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've got all our switches, all our little dials. We also have a second seat behind us. And this one comes with the ability to actually taxi on the runway. I always forget to add that feature to my builds. So it's nice to have that. And it's incorporated into the yaw controls, which is nice. So this should be relatively easy to fly. Shall we get this thing in the air? I think we should. We're going to go 50% throttle. And I'm just going to carefully keep us in the middle of this runway whilst we get some speed. All right, we're on to flaps two settings so we can get some lift here. Oh, look at this baby go. All right, a little bit more speed. And are we good to lift off? You know what? Full throttle for takeoff. Here we go. Yes, nice, nice. We're right in the air. Cool, okay. Lower the speed. Let's get those landing gears in. Oh, would you look how beautifully those took in? That is so much attention to detail. It's also to my understanding that most of these weapons here are just for looks. I believe the only two real weapons are the ones on the side, like functional weapons for this game. But the fact there's so much detail on these fake bombs is crazy. We should probably get to flying this thing properly. So let's get some speed here before we stall. And you know what, guys? I really want to do like a low flight today flying through the canyons just like in top gun because this is an f-14 after all i'm definitely burning through my fuel if i'm at 100 percent throttle i'm gonna give this thing a little bit of trim and here we go we are flying like really well it's really smooth now just under 500 miles per hour i want to turn my hood off there we go now we can get a beautiful look at this thing Look at those engines go. It's also so maneuverable. Like, that roll is really good. And I've just noticed that the swept wings are kind of automatic. I did not do any controls for that. They're starting to sweep as I get faster, which is so cool. I have no idea how you program that in Flyout, but clearly it is possible. Oh, here we go for the flyby camera. Ooh! <laughs> I think if I head in this direction, there should be like valleys that I can fly through. This is definitely the, one of the most detailed planes ever made on this game, for sure. Like, look at this thing. How can you not be impressed? The wings are fully swept now. We're not quite at um, mock speed just yet, but I think we should be able to break the sand barrier any second. Okay, yeah, this is a good valley. I can start doing those fancy maneuvers. I want to test how good this air brake is, though, just before we try and get the mock. Yeah, that feels really good. That's awesome. Oh, this is tight. This is tight. Oh, we're going to crash. Oh, my God. That was so close. All right, we need to slow down and 
put some flaps on and open our wings because I can actually control the swept wings myself manually by pressing plus and minus. So that's just going to give me a little bit more lift control. We should be clear now, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's uh, let's go for mock speeds. Let's do it. There we go. Afterburners are on. You know what? If I'm going to fly an F-14 like Maverick, then I might as well become Maverick. All right, we're ready. We're good to go. Let's break this sound barrier. <laughs> okay, 95, 96. And there we go. You can see it. We broke the sound barrier. And how we could... Oh, okay. Well, I just crashed. That is oopsie daisy. Well, how you could tell if you break the sound barrier in this game, everything goes silent when you're looking in front of the plane. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. I do not des deserve these glasses. I am not Maverick. And we have come to a stop. I do... I doubt I'd survive that. Oh, maybe. Maybe we survived that. Our guys look good. Well, I am thoroughly impressed by this build. This build is insane. You want to know what else is insane? These insane hoodies. I am wearing mine right now. You should definitely go check out these awesome hoodies. They are so cool. I personally designed them myself, and it will go a long way to supporting the channel if you do so. So if you want to pick yourself up a really nice, cool hoodie with a fresh design, the link will be down in the description below. All right, up next, we have the Eurofighter Typhoon by Frank. And this thing just looks exceptional. It looks amazing already. I like the color he went for. It's very nice, very slick. And just, I can't believe the detailing. Like, the little paint jobs and decals you can add in liveries just make everything just look so much better, don't you think? We do have canards on this plane, so uh, hopefully these function i believe there is yeah there's a little servo there nice and this is a delta wing plane but we do have a real working payload yeah these are the fuel tanks you know what instead of me just waffling let's just get it in the air let's go oh this thing looks incredible right do we have taxiing we do nice no machine gun on this plane but we do have our missiles and our agms but here we go let's take off Oh, okay. Of course, it has flaps. Okay, a little bit wonky on the takeoff. That's my fault. But the canards work. Yes, awesome. Ooh, right. Let's get those landing gears in. Oh, this is way more maneuverable than the Tomcat. This feels awesome. All right, last time we went over the mountains. Let's go this way. Yeah, this is also another plane that's just immediately perfect to fly. No, yeah, we're definitely over mock. There's no sound. There we go. Yeah, mock. This thing is a beast. We're going to check the interior as well. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. Got all the dials. We got the HUD display here. It's actually a really fast plane. Look at that. How low can we fly? <laughs> we can control this pretty well. Probably a lot better than I could handle the Tomcat. I think visually this, this game is so beautiful. Let's go into flyby cam. Um, I don't... Oh, yeah, I do see. Here we come. Oh, God, that was so loud. <laughs> the sonic boom. That was truly awesome. I want to do that one more time. Here I come. Boom. <laughs> right, we need to test out these weapons, though. Oh, there's a bunch of... Other options that I never really noticed before, but it looks like I can change the wind direction and the wind speed. Let's, uh, let's slow down on the throttle a bit, though, guys, because I don't want to run out of fuel just yet. But here we go. Spawn menu. So let's put a target drone in and a tank. Let's see if we can take them out. I have no idea where the... Oh, there's the tank. It is in the mountains. Like, it's obviously right there, but it's... Yeah, it's on the other side of the mountain. This is going to be a little tricky for me to lock onto. How is there a tank right on the edge of the mountain like that? That's so weird. All right, can I get my lock on? Want to lock onto the target for me? No? Okie dokie. I guess not. Oh, yeah, we do have countermeasures. Look. Woo! So cool. I'm not sure if I can get that tank, guys. Okay, I just launched them all. Missed. Where are they going? I forgot how to use the weaponry in this game. It has been a while. 
Well, I guess we're not taking on any enemies today. And that target drone is way too far away from me. <laughs> well, since I have no idea where the runway is, I guess we just uh, put this thing in the dirt. Even though it's such a beautiful, well-made aircraft, we're eventually going to run out of fuel. And I have no idea which direction to go. And I think you guys are going to like the next aircraft I have installed. Okay, landing gear. We're just going to put it down on this mountain. We're going to be fine. Oh, 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 no, no, I'm oversteering. Ah, skill issue. Well, moving swiftly on to the final aircraft that we're going to be checking out, we have the ME262 by Mr. McMuffin Jr. Another insanely detailed paint job or livery we have here. It just looks, wow, incredible. But we're going to head over to the desert airfield for this test. Oh, we have an opening canopy on this plane already. Cool. I think you close the canopy using, is it P? No, U? Yes, U. There we go. Right, our pilot is safe. It seems we're already going, so let's just full throttle this. I believe the ME262 was one of the first, if not the first, legit jet fighter ever made. Oh, that was a nice takeoff. Correct me if I'm wrong there, though, guys. Oh, this is so smooth. We do have weaponry on this thing. So in the nose, you can see those holes there. Those are the weapons. That is too cool. Let me check out if we have a nice interior. There we go. Yes, we do indeed. First person is very nice in this thing. You know what? Maybe I can take out a tank with just my uh, machine guns. So let's head over to this enemy. Here's a good question whilst we're going over there. What would win in a dogfight? The ME262 or the P51D? I'm gonna leave that one up to you guys. I don't think there's enough juice in this aircraft to actually reach mock speeds, but we are definitely going a decent pace. 500 plus miles per hour. Heading to the target. I want to go into first person. I need to eyeball this. So I'm going to slow down just a little bit. Because we are automatically pitching up. Oh no, my flaps are on. That's why. There we go. Turn my flaps off. And... Can I hit this tag? Oh, just missed. No way. Damn. Yeah, there's no uh, there's no reticles for me. So I have to just see where the bullets are landing. Oh, I'm out of ammo. No way. I would have had him. Damn it. Ah, the lucky tank. Maybe next time. Well, looks like we're slowing down now anyway. So let's attempt a landing. Is this the aircraft we're actually going to land perfectly and not crash and destroy? We will see. We're about to find out. Easy now. Gentle. We're still going very fast. Okay, let's just turn on the brakes. Parking brake. <gasps> There's no way I actually landed this. We did it. Nice. You know what? Just to, to finish that off, we can open the canopy. There we go. We can have some air. <laughs> well, to be fair, that was relatively easy. This entire place is flat. There's like nothing. The mountains are way out over there. And I'm not sure if those are even real. But guys, let me know what you think of these three awesome aircrafts by the community. Let me know which one was your favorite. And if you like this style of content and want to see me review some more creations in Flyout. Because there's not just jets we can check out. There are passenger airliners. There's even people are making Formula 1 cars on this game. So we can, we can check out all sorts of stuff. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!